Hi ladybirds, happy Monday and welcome to your phonics. So we're going to start off by singing the faster version and then I'll let you know what we're doing in today's session. Let's get going. Come on, let's all sing the ABC song. Woo yeah! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, fun. Ooh. <laughs> Fantastic, I think it got carried away there. Right, we're going to have a look over the last eight letters that we've been looking at. So we're going to start off by just going through them and making sure we know their pure sounds. So are you ready? Mmm, well done. Ah, well done. Fantastic. I, well done. Fantastic. And last one. T. Well done. So they're the letters we've looked at so far. Now we still need to keep looking at our house words. So I've chosen just four to look at today that we have looked at lots for our house words. The first one is this one. I. I. Well done. I. Like. Well done. Like. It's a really good one to remember. To. To. I like to play. <laughs> like this one. My. Well done. I like my cat. <laughs> There we go. So we've looked at our letters, we've looked at our house words, and today whew, we've got a challenge. I have got eight pictures here, and each one of them belongs to each of the letters that we have looked at. So I'm going to hold them up, and I want to see if you can hear which letter comes first in the word. Okay, so I'm going to start off. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to start off with this one. Are you ready? What is it? It's a pig. Well done. So pig. What sound can you hear first in pig? Hmm. Let's have a quick look at our letters to see if that helps us jog our memories. So here are our letters. We have s, a, p, m, o, i. Now, which one can we hear in pig? Pig. Yes, well done. We can hear the p. Fantastic. Right, let's try another one. I'm going to try this one next. Can you remember what he's called? What animal is it? An otter. Otter. Well done. Now, which sound is at the beginning of otter? Is it a s? Ah. Mm, oh, I, t, k, otter, otter. Well done, it's our oh, otter. Fantastic. Right, let's have a look at another one. Ooh, what about this one? Now remember, it's not a spider, it's our ant. Fantastic, ant. Ooh, which one starts with Ant. Yes, well done. It's our ah, ant. Fantastic. Right, let's try another one. Ooh, this one. Can you remember its full name? Well done. It's a sunflower. Hmm. S sunflower. Which 
sound? Yes, sunflower. Well done, super, super. Right, I think we're halfway there. Ooh, this one. It's a cat, well done. So cat, cat, which sound starts with cat? Well done, it's our cat. Fantastic, you're doing so well. Right, next one is our tiger. Ooh, tiger. Which sound is at the beginning of tiger? Well done, it's our tiger. Fantastic, two more to go. Now, do you remember what is inside our pens? Well done, ink, <laughs> ink. Hmm. Which sound is at the beginning of ink? Well done, it's our I, ink. Fantastic, and our last one. Let's have a look. Milk, well done, milk. Which sound is at the beginning of milk? Yes, here it is, our milk. Fantastic, you're getting so good at these eight letters. Now, I'm going to have a go at sounding out some words with you today using just these eight letters. So let's have a look at the first one together. We are, we have got three letters and we're going to have a go at saying them separately first. OK, so what's this one? Well done. Ah, t. So we have a k, we have an a, ah, and we have a t. So now we've got to start slowly saying them a little bit faster each time together. K, at, k, at, k, at, cat. Well done. Meow. <laughs> Here is our cat. Fantastic. So we started off with it separately. K -a -t. K -a -t. K -a -t. Cat. Cat. Well done. Right. I'm going to take the k out and I'm going to put a m mm in. So let's start with them separately. Are you ready? M mm a t. M mm a t. Matt, 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 well done, Matt, M -a -t. Matt. So we've had k at cat, and now we've had m at Matt. I'm going to change it again. I'm going to put this in. What's this one? It's our p. Well done. So start them separately. P -a -t. At, pat, pat, <gasps> pat, wow. So we have had k at, cat, we've had m at, mat, and now we've had p at, pat. Whoa, I'm going to change it again. I'm going to put this one in. <gasps> oh my goodness, we're going to start with them separately. Are you ready? At sat. Wow. We've had cat. We've had mat. We've had pat. And now we've got sat. Oh my goodness. The cat sat on the mat. <laughs> Should we try that again? Say it with me. The cat sat on the mat. Wow, the cat sat on the mat. That's amazing. So with your letters, start them off wide and say them slowly and then push them together to say them faster and faster and faster until you can hear what word you're reading.
And that's blending. That's blending those letters and those sounds together so you can hear the word it makes all together. Now, let me bring you back down because I would like to make one sentence before we go today. And we're going to use our tricky words. So, I like my, I like my cat. Now, which letters do I need to sound out the word cat? Hmm, what comes first in cat? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the word cat and we're going to pop it in our mouths. Give it a good chew. And then we're going to pull the word out letter by letter. So we have k, well done. So I'll need my k, fantastic. So we've got k. Ah, well done. Let me find my ah. Here he is. So we've got k, ah, t. Fantastic. <gasps> Let me bring you down again. I like my cat 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 i like my cat wow that's amazing so today we've looked at our eight letters and we've worked at how to spell cat mat pat sat that's four words we read today and then we had to go at putting it in a sentence by using our tricky words See if you can have a go at making this sentence today at home. Now you might want to use little pieces of paper to write your separate sounds on. And if you're writing them, make sure you use your lowercase letters. And then you can put them separately and start pushing them closer and closer together to see if you can blend those sounds to read the word. And if you can, pop it in a sentence like we have today. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll do even more tomorrow. I know the blending part to be able to really tune your ear to be able to hear that word is a bit tricky sometimes, but the more you practice, the easier you will find it. So good luck and let me know in dojos what you come up with. Thank you. Bye.